In this video, we'll show you how to optimize the SEO of your WordPress website so that it ranks higher in search results. SEO stands for Search Engine Optimization and is defined as the process of improving the quality and quantity of traffic to a website. In other words, SEO is a strategy used by webmasters to get more traffic by ranking higher in search results for specific terms. Search engines are usually the biggest source of high quality traffic for most websites. And that's why it's super important to tailor the content of your site in a way that it's easier for search engine algorithms to categorize it and understand what it's about. Good news is that WordPress is pretty well optimized in terms of SEO right out of the box, but there are still some improvements that can be made to help you rank higher and perform better on search results. Check the visibility setting of your WordPress. WordPress has a built-in option to hide your website from search engines, so the first thing you want to do is make sure it's not active. To do that, go to your WordPress dashboard, there, look under the settings menu, reading, and make sure that the option discourage search engines from indexing the site is not checked. Setting the site title and tagline. Search engines use your site title and tagline when displaying your website and their results, so it's really important to configure them and not leave the default, this is just another WordPress website tagline. So go to the settings menu, general, and update your site title and tagline. Use an SL certificate. The first and most obvious benefit is the improved security, as connecting over SSL means that all data transmitted between your visitors and the hosting server would be encrypted. There is also a positive SEO effect. Having an SSL certificate helps you rank better in Google search results. Back in 2014, Google announced that sites using HTTPS will be ranked higher than the ones that don't utilize it. So having an SSL certificate is great, but how do you get one? The most obvious choice here is to buy a certificate from an SSL vendor, and there are a number of popular providers out there. However, if you're hosted with ICDSoft, you don't have to spend any extra money on that. All ICDSoft hosting plans come with free SSL certificates from Let's Encrypt. These certificates are issued and activated with a single click in the control panel of your account. So let's go ahead and install one. Go to the control panel, SSL slash HTTPS, Let's Encrypt Certificates, and enable a Let's Encrypt certificate for your domain. The next step is to configure your WordPress installation to work over SSL and we have detailed instructions on that in one of our previous videos on the channel which we'll also link here. Choose your preferred domain. If you have a single page that's accessible by multiple URLs, Google may identify that as duplicate content. For example, your WordPress installation could be configured to serve the same content for the www subdomain and your root domain or it could be serving the same content for plain HTTP connections and secure connections over HTTPS without making any redirects. While Google considers that as valid reasons for keeping duplicate content and that won't hurt your SEO score, there are still a number of good reasons why you would want to set up a canonical slash preferred URL for your WordPress website. The first and really important one is to specify which URL you want people to see in search results. To consolidate link signals for similar or duplicate pages, to simplify tracking metrics, and to avoid spending crawling time on duplicate pages. So to configure it with WordPress, go to the settings menu, general, there, enter your preferred address for both the WordPress and site URL fields. In our case, that's https hectohas.com. To test if you set up your canonical address correctly, go to the non-preferred address. For example, in our case, that would be www.hectohas.com. And we can even use plain HTTP. So we're looking to establish an unsecured connection and we should be redirected to our canonical address over SSL. And you can see the address bar of our browser, HTTPS, hectohas.com. And if we open the source code of the page, we should see this line and the canonical string tells Google, as well as all other search engines, that this is the canonical URL. Avoid duplicate content. Speaking of duplicate content and the negative impact it could have on your SEO, here is a super useful tip for you. If you've set up a staging instance of your website for the purpose of testing update procedures or changes to the appearance of your team, make sure to press and protect that installation so that you would be absolutely certain that Google would not index it. If you need to provide access to someone else, you can just set up login credentials for them. Password protecting your staging instance is not only good in terms of SEO, but it's also good for your overall security. You can easily do that with the ICDSoft hosting service via the control panel protection, web access protection.
there, browse to the location where a staging installation is running, and password protect the entire folder. Test your site for SEO issues with Google's Web Dev Tool. Google's Web Dev Tool gives insights on potential performance and SEO issues, so it's really important that you give it a go. We'll run the audit with our site hectohas.com. Make sure to enter your canonical URL as any additional redirections will negatively impact the performance results. Let's examine our SEO results and you can see that our document does not have a meta description. So let's find out how we can resolve that. Install a WordPress SEO plugin. Despite how great WordPress is in terms of SEO right out of the box, you can still expand on its core features by adding an SEO plugin. And the two most popular free options are Yoast and the All-in-One SEO Pack. In this video, we'll go with Yoast, but feel free to explore All-in-One as well as any other plugins that may come your way. Keep in mind that simply installing an SEO plugin doesn't optimize the website for you. It just makes it easier for you to do it and to adhere to the best practices. So let's go ahead and install Yoast. You know the drill, go to your WordPress dashboard, plugins, add new, search and install Yoast, activate it. Now, to add the meta description that was reported as missing by Google's Web Dev Tool, we'll just have to edit our homepage. Scroll down to the Google Preview section and let's enter something in the meta description field. Let's say, fast and reliable web hosting with outstanding customer support. Sitemap. An XML sitemap file lists all of the URLs for a website along with additional information about each URL, when it was last updated, how often it usually changes and how important it is relative to other URLs on the site. It allows search engines to crawl your site more effectively. In WordPress 5.5, a new feature was introduced that adds basic extensible XML sitemaps functionality into the WordPress core. In other words, as of version 5.5, every WordPress website would get a default sitemap file. Its name is wpsitemap.xml. So if we go to our website slash wpsitemap.xml, we should see its contents. And you can see that it referenced two additional sitemaps. So let's go to that first one. And it contains the URLs to all of our website pages. So this will help search engines locate them more easily. However, you can see that this sitemap file is quite basic and doesn't contain any additional information such as the date when a given page was last modified or the images that exist on this page. That's important and that's why it's best to use a dedicated sitemap plugin to generate a good sitemap file for you. In our case, since we're using Yoast, We'll go to the SEO menu, General, Features. There, make sure that you have the XML sitemaps option enabled. Now you should have a cool sitemap file that should be available at yourdomain.com slash sitemap.xml. Let's check it out. XML sitemap generated by Yoast SEO. This is an XML sitemap meant for consumption by search engines. And you can see that we have the last modified date and if we click on one of these, we will see all of our pages and their URLs, as well as the number of images on each page. Also, your robots.txt file should point to the location of your sitemap. Not the default one by WordPress, but the cool one generated by either Yoast or All-in-One SEO. In the case of WordPress, the robots.txt file is generated on the fly, so you wouldn't normally find it under your web root folder where WordPress is installed. In other words, you would have to modify it through a special plugin. So if you're using Yoast, go to the Tools menu, File Editor. This tool allows you to quickly change important files for your SEO, like your robots.txt, and if you have one, your .htx file. And now you can see we can edit the contents of our robots.txt file. Let's add this one line that would direct search engine bots to our sitemap. Sitemap, semicolon, and the URL to our file, which is https hectohas.com slash sitemap.xml. Press the Save Changes button. Now let's test it by going to hectohas.com slash robots.txt. And you can see the path to our sitemap file we just added there, so everything looks good. Make your URLs SEO friendly. Your URLs should contain words that clearly explain what the given page is all about, so they are easier to read and understand by both humans and search engines. This will greatly improve your chances of ranking higher in search results. To do that, go to your WordPress dashboard, settings, 
permalinks and you can see there are a number of different options available and some of them don't really contain any useful information such as the first option called plain. Notice that these URLs use numbers unrelated to the content and a user can't guess what they'll find on the page by looking at the URL. We recommend that you definitely avoid those too. The best option in terms of SEO is to use the post name and if you're running a news website you could also use the day and name setting as it will also show the actual date. However, if you have an established website that has been running for more than 6 months, simply changing your permalink setting could result in a lot of 404 errors for your old URLs and you can even lose your SEO rank. In such cases, you need to hire a professional web developer who will set up redirects from the old URLs to the new ones to ensure a smooth transition. Add your site to Google Search Console and submit your sitemap. The Google Search Console, formerly known as Webmaster Tools, is a set of tools offered by Google to help site owners administer the way their website appears in their search results. If we take a quick glance at the About page, we'll see some of the important features that the Search Console provides. See which queries bring users to your site, analyze your site's impressions, clicks and positions on Google Search. Submit sitemaps and individual URLs for crawling. Receive email alerts when Google identifies issues on your site. Understand how Google Search sees your pages. So it provides a lot of useful information it's definitely a must have if you're looking to optimize the SEO of your WordPress website. Our previous video on the channel, which we'll also link here, provides step-by-step -step instructions on how to add your site to the Google Search Console. Go ahead and watch that video if you haven't verified your domain. It will only take you a couple of minutes. Once you've done that, a good next step is to add your sitemap there, which basically submits your sitemap to Google. Head over to the sitemaps menu and enter the location of your sitemap.xml file. In our case, our URL is https hectohas.com slash sitemap.xml. The URL inspection tool is quite useful as it allows you to check whether a given page on your website has been indexed by Google. You just need to enter its URL there and you will see if it has been indexed or not. You will also see some important details like when it was last crawled, whether the page is mobile friendly. Content is king. When it comes to SEO, content is the single most important factor of them all. Ranking up high quality content on your site that's of course relevant to the keywords you want to rank for will in time improve your other search ranking factors such as your domain authority, credibility and popularity. Your website needs fresh and unique content that's based on certain keywords that best describe your service or topics of interest. When it comes to WordPress SEO, there are certain tricks you can use to optimize your content and we'll cover them here. Use categories and tags. Firstly, WordPress allows you to set categories and different tags for your posts and pages and you should definitely do that in order to help search engines understand your website structure and content. Categories allow you to group certain posts or pages. For example, if you're running a personal blog, you can have categories such as lifestyle, travel, images, food, etc. Tags can be viewed as specific keywords that describe what a given post or page is about. Some themes will also display the tags of your different posts on the home page of your site and that will be really helpful for search engine rankings. Add internal links. This tip is super effective but often overlooked. Adding links to different pages on your own website helps you increase page views and keeps visitors at your site for a longer period of time. Sanitize your WordPress comments. Having a lot of comments is a good indicator that a website is popular and does well. Allowing comments on your site keeps your visitors engaged. Visitors might even start entire threads by themselves, then add backlinks to your site and ultimately improve the SEO. However, these comments have to be real, related to the actual content and not spam. The easiest way to automatically filter out spam is to use a plugin such as Akismet which comes bundled with WordPress by default. If Akismet is unable to combat this annoying issue, you could consider some extra tips and tools which we've covered in one of our previous videos linked here and also in our blog post on this topic. Images and SEO. Nowadays it's super important to provide rich content that contains not just text but also images, videos and even social media resources. When it comes to images, simply adding a picture to your blog post is not enough. It's really important to give it a meaningful name that's centered around your keywords and you should also make sure to add the alternative text. The alt text helps visually impaired users with screen readers and it also provides a description of the image for search engines. Add meta description to your posts and pages. 
The meta description is the little blurb that appears underneath your website on the search engine results. By default, WordPress does not allow you to set it explicitly for your pages, and it will just take a part of the first sentence. As a result, your meta description can look totally off point and incomplete. This could push potential visitors away, and that's why it's quite useful to set it explicitly. The free version of the Yoast plugin allows you to easily do that, and it shows you a preview of how your post would appear on search engine results. For even more tips on how to improve the SEO of your WordPress website, please refer to our blog post linked in the description of this video. Thanks for watching and make sure to subscribe to our channel.